right off the bat. <laughs> this, I don't know what Miguel's doing over there at Nutribio. I love this flavor. Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation and Nutribio Nations? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow, a tech and media company that brings you the supplement industry's news, reviews, interviews, diet research, and a whole lot of product announcements from Nutribio. So, right off the bat, yes, this is the new. Alpha EAA, and we have it in advance. The production tubs right here, I have both flavors. Cherry Lime Slush. Now, before they had Cherry Limeade, now they have Cherry Lime Slush, and I have not opened this one, so you're gonna see a live tasting. And Dragon Fruit Candy, which is, was their previous new uh, flavor release in their sports nutrition series, such as in their Intra Blast and Pre-Workout, and I love, it's like a way unique flavor. And I have had this one, I, I, I had to open it up. So before we go any further, make the lawyers happy. We are sponsored by Nutribio. They have a banner ad. We're doing free samples with their proteins. Oh my God, these proteins are so good, seriously. And uh, what else? And these tubs are sent for free in advance. So I gotta throw that out there. We are affiliated with them. We've got the whole works and everything, but we're gonna be completely honest. And it's gonna be easy to do that because when you're, I live the life right now. I mean, our number one sponsor is putting out amazing, amazing open formula, third party tested supplements. Like you can't get any better than that. But the one honest truth is that I never like the cherry limeade flavor systems and I'm not expecting to like it this time, but hopefully we are because I've noticed something a little different with this dragon fruit candy here compared to the others and I'm really excited about this. So Alpha EAA, what we're gonna do in this review is I'm gonna talk about a little bit about this launch, some of the competing products that we have and then we're gonna weigh out a scoop, do a flavor tasting and then I'm gonna drill down on the ingredients. The big difference here is that Alpha EAA has some nootropics built into a full spectrum amino acid blend, which is something we're huge on on this channel, especially if you're looking to actually build muscle and not just prevent muscle loss. So all the essential amino acids are the amino acids that you can't, your body can't synthesize on its own. So you gotta get them in through diet and or supplementation, you know, mostly diet and a little bit of supplementation, especially when you're working out. Now what's cool about Alpha EAA here is that they also got some bonus stuff and that's the nootropics and the cognitive enhancers, the anxiety reducers, mainly Alpha GPC, the most bioavailable form of choline on top of more choline by tartrate. So lots of choline here, we'll get into that. And then also KSM 66 Ashwagandha, which Nutribio does have a solo bottle there. I have another bottle downstairs I've been using every day. And, uh, and they also put out a solo bottle of the Alpha GPC as well. So some of these ingredients we're gonna talk about, if you're interested, but you don't wanna have it in a drink, they do have capsule form in uh, solo form. So we can check those out. We'll make links to all that in the description. And then we also have a little bit of Huperzine A, and that's gonna help out with our choline uh, keeping the acetylcholine around, which is really the learning neurotransmitter we're going for here. And on top of that, you have the absorption am amplifier uh, in estrogen, and we have some coconut water extract, but not a crappy one. So Mark Glazer has kind of stumbled on yet another industry scandal, and he's like, gonna, I will see how far he goes with this, but this Cocoa Pure extract that they've got here is what they're saying is leagues leagues better than the other junk out there. So an actual coconut water extract inside, and then taurine, which is awesome for endurance and getting a little bit more water kind of flowing through the body and in between the cells and all that. So that's kind of the, the real low down on the, on the label. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta open these up and we gotta, hey, look, I got my new Nutribio shaker cup. We're gonna open these up, do a weigh out test, do a little sniff test here. And uh, we're gonna do the dragon fruit candy flavor yeah, in my green Nutribio cup that came with this. And then we're gonna do the cherry lime slush flavor in my torpedo battle shaker. So let's get that open. Let's just do the initial smell test here. Now what's interesting, there's a one little uh, difference here. We're gonna see on the labels here, the, uh, the, the, with Nutribio, the colors are always natural, but they add a little bit of salt, 120 milligrams here. And I don't see uh, any of that. So you have a little bit of salt added to the cherry lime slush flavor, none added to the dragon fruit candy. And that is adding a bit of uh, sodium, you have 45 milligrams or 2% of your you know, day's uh, recommendation of sodium. And that's probably to give a little bit of saltiness to that limeade. We'll see if I like it. Usually <laughs> I don't. So smell test right now. Oh, that smells good. I got, all right, maybe I'm, maybe I'm growing on this little cherry lime thing. Or maybe I like the slush better than the aid. Anyway, let's go do a scoop way out. And what we're looking for here is 14.88 uh, grams on the dragon fruit candy. 
and 15.18 grams on the cherry lime slush. So we're looking about for about 15 grams. We'll be back. Looks like we have a 20 cc scooper on the dot. This is kind of fluffy powder, so I'm packing it pretty tight here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this thing to really uh, sit up straight. So let's see how much of a mess we get here. Oh, I'm in ounces. 14.4 grams, and I'm looking for 15.18. Yeah, they can probably go up like 0.1 more cc's, but overall, pack it nice and tight, and you're going to be good. We're within our 10%, so you are not getting stiff with some huge honking scoop, which honestly would probably feel good, though, given the Alpha Cheap BC dose, but hey, anyway. All right, so pack it tight. We are just squeaky under the under the amount that we'd want. I'm like spoiled by these new way isolates that they have. All four of them, like, like 30 grams on the dot, and which is what we pretty much want. So coming in just a touch late is not a big deal, but man, Nutribio's been like on fire with these things. So this, <laughs> this dragon fruit candy is such a unique flavor. It smells so good, but it's, it's interesting. Like, I, I, it's not spicy, but there's like, there's a spice to it. There's a something to it. And I still haven't totally identified it. There's like a little bit of kiwi or whatever. Anyway, dragon fruit candy is what I have here. Now with the Nutribio uh, drinks, and powders in general, you're never gonna get an artificial color. And this is no different. I think for the dragon fruit candy, they're using beetroot extract to make it, there you go, a little bit of color there. And we're gonna shoot some B-roll in here. Now, because the EAAs traditionally don't taste that good, you're getting a pretty decent dose of sucralose here. Let's not joke, it's 170 milligrams worth. So they gotta, they gotta really sweeten it up to get over those like fowler tasting uh, EAAs on top of the fact that uh, ashwagandha, the KSM-66, which is a superiorly awesome ingredient, tastes terrible. So they cover that up big time. And then we have the, uh, you know, it's all open formula. We're gonna show the, the, the flavors and the, the list and everything. But uh, yeah, completely open formula. So you even know beetroot powder, there is 50 milligrams worth. So that is, that mixes up pretty well. You can't see any foam really whatsoever. That's impressive. And then, Cherry lime slush. Okay, I'm on the cherry lime slush right now. And so this is actually, what they do is they add a little bit of beta carotene for this one. And I didn't let this one settle as much. I got a little bit more foam on this one. It looks like inside of the uh, dragon fruit candy one. All right, I'm going in with the cherry lime slush first because you're gonna get my initial taste. Okay, it, it smells like cherry lime. I can see why they add a little bit of that salt to it. It's actually kind of cool. And the sodium, I mean, we could argue that this is a better supplement just because we need more sodium a lot of times when we're training. These products, these EAAs are typically used as an intro workout training aid during your workout, so. Ooh, okay. It's got this, <laughs> it's got the, the sweet, and then that, it's still got that limeade citrusy finish, which is really, for people who like it, it's refreshing. Not a limeade guy, still am not, but this is definitely better than, I would say like the cherry limeade pre-workout. I like this one a whole lot better. Now you're seeing though, I got, I got some floaties on this one. I probably should have shaken it a little bit harder. I, I'm not sure if I'd be able to work these in. That's enjoyable. Anyone who likes cherry limeade, I think you're really gonna dig this. That citrus finish is, it's like tar, it's in there. No complaints, but as always, it's not my jam. Dragon fruit candy on the other hand. There's your beetroot color right there, all natural coloring. Now this one actually mixed a lot better, maybe because I let it settle, I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Right off the bat, <laughs> this, I don't know what Miguel's doing over there at Nutribio, I love this flavor. Now. It's sweet, but it does finish a little bit tart. It's not sweet, sweet, and it's not, if you're like need to have sweet, 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 bombed out with too much Ace K on the finish, you're not gonna get that there. It is sweet, like 90%, and then there's a 10% tart finish at the end. It is like some exotic, man, I don't know what it is, but I'm not tasting any ashwagandha. I'm not tasting any bad aminos. I just have this ridiculously flavorful, zesty, dragon fruit flavor system that's like just from a whole nother planet, which is kind of what happens when you go and look and like go deep into China and you start getting these all these like different tables of vegetables and fruits and stuff that you've never seen before. That's like kind of like what this feels like. It's just completely out of left field. But it really works with my sweet tooth American tongue here. Man, to me, this is not even a contest. Like dragon fruit candy is the better flavor. But if you're like, 
you know you like the limeade, then go with that because this is something different. Like, there's no standard fruit punch flavor here. Normally, with an EAA supplement, written, I can't really give a good full, full thorough review because we are launching today and I've had like three shakers worth of this stuff, but I actually felt this supplement and I wasn't stimming out or anything like that because there's no stimulants, but I was like, whoa, there's a little bit of, hmm, a little bit of zip in there. And that I think was from the Alpha GPC. The ashwagandha typically is like more of a leveling ingredient. I like to take that alongside of some of these stimulants that are in these other products and stuff. But in general, I'm pretty sure that I felt the, the Alpha G, GPC plus the Vita Choline dose. So you have a really solid dosage of choline here. And, uh, and so my review is that Dragon Fruit Candy is the flavor to go to for everyone who, unless you know you don't like that flavor system or you know you're just a limeade freak. This is, it mixes better, it looks cooler. I just, I think it's better in general. Oh man. And so that's the thing. I went through the Dragon Fruit Candy flavors of the Intro Blast, the EAA Pure, the Pre-Workout, and the BCA 5000, and the Intro Blast won by far. This is better than all those. I, I think like Miguel got a little bit better at this flavor system because I think this one's great. And I'm at the point now where if you could afford it, the EA Pure is a, a just has the same base of amino acids here, but none of the extra like nootropic ingredients that are in here. That's gonna be sold at the retailers. I believe this is gonna be online. This is a product that I would rather use as long as you got the budget for it because it's got extra stuff in there. I love all the extra stuff. So that's kind of the end of my review. I'm a huge fan of this and I felt it. And the focus is great. When you train with a high dose of choline or when I train with a high dose of choline, you kind of, I kind of get a little bit better of a mind-muscle connection. And the, the choline thing really depends on how many eggs you're eating. It depends on your diet. I'm a huge proponent of eating eggs. So uh, you're gonna get better benefits, I believe, out of it if you are lower on eggs. This has a, the, about the same amount of choline as about three eggs. So if you're shy of three eggs, I, I think that doing a scoop of this is a fantastic idea for that alone, plus the ashwagandha, the taurine, and all the other benefits that are gonna come alongside. So that's the end of my review. Now let's just fly right into ingredient analysis mode. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna link back for the essential amino acid blend. The, the story, the yeah, long story short is you gotta get in essential amino acids and the study show it's always a leucine which is one of the you know the most important BCAA of the three that is for triggering muscle protein synthesis more leucine is a great thing and we have a good dose of leucine here in three grams the whole branch chain amino acid blend is six grams here and then the entire uh, EAA blend is 8.2 grams so we have 2.2 grams worth of non BCAA EAAs awesome stuff which is more than average. Usually we want to have like over a gram or so. And the two most prevalent of these two are lysine and threonine, which are great for muscle protein synthesis as well. They are kind of underrated. Now, if you want to link back to the uh, EAA Pure video where I was kind of raving and ranting about this uh, formula when it came out, we could do that because uh, I don't want to go on through and everything, but I did have a pretty good tryptophan rant and that's kind of been my thing lately. I'm all about getting all these essential amino acids in. If you're not eating enough meat, if you're not eating eggs, fish, maybe dairy if you can handle it, then you're possibly missing out on a lot of stuff and your body's gonna go crazy looking for actual amino acids. You don't know why you're hungry? You're, you're hungry because you're not leveraging protein. You need protein, you need protein, you need to eat a damn steak. Anyway, this has some of that for during your training purposes, but you still gotta eat. After that, we have taurine, 1.2 grams of it. Now taurine is sometimes called amino acid, but it's actually an organic acid, and it's used as like to kind of create a sheath of water throughout your body. It's, it's used as an osmolite. We've seen it in the energy drink blends. It's not bulls piss, and you know, all those stupid energy drinks, but they actually had a really good point in adding it. We don't know how much is in those energy drinks, but we do know that we have 1.2 grams here. Now the clinical dose is anywhere from really, like this is right in the middle, anywhere from 500 milligrams to two grams worth. We're like dead smack in the middle of that, which is great. Now, when you take more taurine, there was a meta-analysis that showed uh, based off of nine different endurance athlete studies that it no doubt works for endurance, but not only that, it works the very first time to get you a little bit longer, get you, uh, you know, their time to exhaustion increases, so you don't get exhausted as quickly, and you could even have a little bit more power output. This is gonna be like kind of the name of the game of this supplement. We're gonna be looking at different things that increase power, which is really awesome. On top of your hard training and your diet and the amino acids, there's other things in here that can increase power, especially if you're not eating some of the foods that have some of this stuff in it. So taurine's awesome. Now, Coco Pure, we might need to get Mark Glazer on for like a little interview here, because it turns out when Nutribio was starting to do some research, on all these coconut water extracts, what they're finding is that these coconut water powders 
Well, really, this is yet another scam that Nutribio uncovered, and I can't prove any of this. So I don't. I haven't seen a single lab test to prove this, but we're at the point now where I trust Mark Glazier and I trust Nutribio and I trust their team doing the lab test. But basically, all the coconut water powders out there, like so many that they tested, are bonded, or that you you have to take the water, and this is like how the MCT oil powders work, and a lot of these like liquids that you have to turn into powder form, you spray it against the surface, and you need to like dry it with something. All these coconut water powders are like 37% coconut water, and the rest is sprayed up against maltodextrin, which is like worse than sugar. That stuff is just nasty garbage. So Nutribio was like, uh-uh. We are not going to accept this because all this is going to do is give our users not the benefits of coconut water, which typically is high in potassium, a little bit of sodium. Instead, it's just going to give them sugar and a little bit of blood sugar spike, which they don't need. They're, they would rather, we'd rather have a little bit of the electrolytes from it and a little bit of flavor, to be honest. You know, some people like that. So the so Nutribio ended up pretty much, I think, they had to find this cocoa pure. I don't know if they developed themselves or co-developed it or whatever, but either way, it is 90%, I believe, 90% coconut water and they're spraying it up against a tapioca powder instead. And that is, for whatever reason, they're able to have a much higher yield. And this is not just overblown sugar water like the other garbage out there. We gotta get Mark Glazer to talk about cocoa pure because that's, uh, that's all I can tell you at this point. I've seen no lab tests, so disclaimers all over the screen and everything. After that, yet another scam. All right, not a scam, but it's not always being properly labeled. And we're talking about Alpha GPC. Now, alpha GPC, don't be scared of this word. It is L alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine. And this is our one of our favorite forms of choline, if not the favorite. But alpha GPC itself is a sticky, goopy substance that you can't just put into a tub. You need to actually mix it or bind it to something else. Typically, the other like forms, the trademark forms or some of the other forms that are in there, they actually mix it with 50% uh, silica which is not used here, but the same kind of process is going down. So when you see just 300 milligrams of alpha GPC and it doesn't say anything else, there's a good chance that you're actually getting 150 milligrams of alpha GPC blended with 150 milligrams of silica. If they don't tell you, you gotta just assume the worst. Now hope for the best, assume the worst. Mark Glazer hates that, of course, as do we. And so here's what they're doing. They have 600 milligrams of, let's just call it alpha GPC stuff. But that contains 300 milligrams of actual alpha GPC bonded, or I'm not sure if it's mixed or bonded to. That's one thing I'd love to get clarified in the comments. But it's blended with 300 milligrams of calcium phosphate. Meaning we have a legitimate 300 milligram dose of alpha GPC and then the carrier is another 300 milligrams. So the whole package is 600 milligrams. They tell you this. So I know we're getting 300 milligrams of alpha GPC. Now here's the truth. That alpha GPC, the way it's bonded together in the choline, we're, we're actually going for choline. Now the, the reason we like choline is because it's the, the essential nutrient that comes in eggs a lot that we like. And so choline is hugely important for increasing your acetylcholine levels, most especially in your brain. And acetylcholine is often known as the learning neurotransmitter. When we have more choline, and it's like on a dose-dependent response, we get better focus, better fat burning, and better even leg strength if you dose enough. There are some strength-based studies showing that 600 milligrams of alpha GPC stuff, meaning 300 milligrams of actual alpha GPC, increases leg strength over the course of time. So you've got focus and strength effects, which is perfect for an intra workout supplement. Great, great stuff, but we even have more choline coming down. Now here's the real situation though. So we have 300 milligrams of actual alpha GPC out of the 600, blends of, 600 milligram blend of stuff. Now alpha GPC itself is really 40% uh, choline by weight, but because of that 50-50 blend, it's 20% choline by weight. So out of this, out of this uh, 300 milligrams of choline, we have like 100 and like 40 or so milligrams of actual choline coming out of this first piece of the puzzle. Next, however, is vitocholine, and that is choline by tartrate. Now the difference is that alpha GPC is actually uh, is a more bioavailable substance, and it actually passes through the blood-brain barrier. It's a little bit more lipophilic, and it is definitely like it works a little bit better. 
but it's also expensive. So what we're seeing, a lot of the best focus supplements, and I've been talking about this a little bit on the channel, the people who are blending it together kind of get the most like cost benefit best of both worlds. So choline bitartrate is not as bioavailable, but it's a little bit cheaper. So choline bitartrate itself, without having to do any 50% craziness, is 41% choline by weight. We have 500 milligrams of that. At the end of the day, we are ending up with about 325 milligrams of absolute end of the story choline. This is more than a lot of the junk that people are putting in and calling it 300 milligrams of alpha GPC. Actually, that's really 150 milligrams of alpha GPC. And then actually, that's really, we're ending up with like 70 milligrams of actual choline. This is a legitimate choline dose. And that is a great thing. Now, think about this. Who is not getting in choline? It's in meat and it's in eggs. Oh, the vegans. If you're a vegan, you gotta supplement this stuff. Otherwise, you are not gonna burn fat, you're not gonna feel good upstairs, and you're gonna have overall cognitive problems. So this is a huge thing. I've been like ranting about this. So at first they try saying that saturated fat is unhealthy. Well, if you have high serum saturated fat, yeah, that is indeed bad. But Bullock 2014 showed us that, out of Ohio State, by the way, he showed us that, well, just because you eat a lot of high saturated fat doesn't do anything to your serum saturated fat levels. So these clowns way back then were trying to tell us, oh, you shouldn't eat eggs because of cholesterol and saturated fat. Well, it doesn't, first off, that's the dumbest thing that's ever been said in the history of the health community, probably. Eggs are eaten by nearly every carnivorous or omnivorous species and they are so healthy for us. It is just a way of life. Anyway, by eating eggs, we are getting the choline that we need, and it's tough to find in a lot of other sources. This is a good way of supplementing it, though. Whew, okay, so that was kind of the story, and uh, so we're basically getting about three eggs worth of choline, more or less, with a scoop of this, which is just fantastic. And don't believe this egg propaganda. Eat your eggs. All right, so after that, whoo, KSF 66 ashwagandha. Now this is um, the most trusted, most studied form of ashwagandha, which is an adaptogenic herb that uh, helps regulate hormone levels. So if you are like dragging ass because you're not getting enough sleep, or you are uh, not eating properly and your testosterone's a little bit low, or you have like your hypogonadal, you only have like one nut or something like that, zero nuts, that's for some of these studies. Or if you're infertile, then there's chances that you have issues with uh, certain hormones, and ashwagandha has been shown to increase testosterone for people. Now, that's what a lot of the studies are showing. However, what about, what about the young bucks who are all healthy and eating enough eggs and meat and all that stuff? Well, it turns out that even them, on a strength training program, admittedly, even with healthy young men, taking 600 milligrams of ashwagandha per day will increase testosterone around 15%. So this stuff is absolutely incredible and it works for everyone. And so there's benefits to virility, there's benefits, and it really works by lowering cortisol. If your cortisol is high, you ain't gonna be burning fat, you're just gonna be a tired mess and your body's just gonna be like in panic mode the whole time. So you gotta relax, there's lots of ways of relaxing, get your sleep, but a lot of people kinda get caught in this negative feedback loop and ashwagandha can be used to kinda lessen all that. So they do have, no Nutribio does, does have some separate. Now the thing is here, we have 300 milligrams. That is half the clinical dose, but there are some studies that show 300 milligrams being a clinical dose. We like 600 milligrams a day for all the best benefits, all those best studies. Then you kind of cover all the studies near, not all of them, but a lot of them with the 600 milligram dose. So this is half of that. Now, a lot of the pre-workouts out there, a lot of other supplements are getting there. Or if you're really, if you're not a big mess, then you're just going to probably enjoy the ride that 300 milligrams gets you. It helps like lessen some of these crazy stimulants, like I've said. And uh, that's a great thing. Now, uh, but if you do want more, yeah, Nutribio does sell a uh, 600 milligram capsule, which I've been taking and I feel good from it. Can you tell? So after that, we have Huprazine A at 50 micrograms, which is on the, the low end of the doses, but that's fine. Huprazine A is used to prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine. Our choline uh, and alpha GPC in this product are increasing acetylcholine levels, but there is an enzyme known as the acetylcholinesterase that then breaks it down. We don't want this stuff floating around forever. Like, you know, everything has a cycle. However, when we're working out, we would like to have a little bit more of that focus last a little bit longer, and Huprazine A has been shown to actually prevent, you know, kind of slow down that degradation a little bit. So thank you to Huprazine for playing defense, whereas choline, uh, you know, the vitacholine and the alpha GPC are playing off that's how this works. And we have estrogen, which is a patented form of astragalus and Panex notoginseng. Those are two other adaptogenic herbs, kind of like KSM 66 ashwagandha, but we're really here for the increasing of the bioavailability of other amino acids. A lot of these supplements, you see people adding estrogen to just regular, like whatever, a muscle building supplement that doesn't have any amino acids. Well, a lot of that doesn't really necessarily have much research behind it, but 
estrogen has been studied for the actual benefits on amino acids. And that's exactly what we want here. So you can check out that. I think it's sold by New Live Science. We'll check that out before we uh, don't do or don't edit that part out. And so that's it. We have 8.2 grams of full amino acids plus the taurine, plus the brain boosters, plus the cortisol keepers, keeper lowers, however you want to say that, ashwagandha. And, uh, and overall, this is a fantastic, I think this is a fantastically delicious tasting supplement. And it's a formula that not a lot of people have done, a full spectrum amino acid blend that has the actual essential nutrients that are gonna create an even better lifting performance for you, especially if you need to dose it up a little bit. So I can't be any happier. Obviously, I'm very excited about this product because I love what Nutribio is doing, and I'm passionate about people eating properly and supplementing even more around that. And that's all I can say. So check out pricefall.com slash Nutribio to sign up for our Nutribio alerts because you're gonna get notified. We're still doing free samples with this stuff. We're still doing, uh, and I'm not sure if we'll ever free sample this, but right now we're running through the protein so get in on those and check out this supplement if you can. It's probably going to be a little bit more pricey than the AA Pure, but man, every single extra ingredient on top of the base amino acids they have here is something I obviously thoroughly believe in and believe in getting through diet and even more through supplementation. Why not? My name is Mike Roberto. I'd like to thank NutriBio again for sending these and I'd like to thank you for listening for so long. I got through it. Listen, folks, I got three of these. I think we got to do a contest if you've made it this far. All right, so um, what is our contest going to be? Right now, I am thinking of a single ingredient Nutribio product that you need to list in the comments. What is a single ingredient Nutribio product that you think is cool? If so, you will get a tub of this, and that's five servings right here. We'll send it over. U.S. only. Other than that, thanks for watching. It's launch day. You're going to get a bunch of emails from us about this. So we will see you on the next one because Nutribio is keeping us super busy, especially when I spend an hour on these videos. Thank you for watching. My name is Mike Roberto. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Figure out which single ingredient product I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome to Price File.